let's take a look at the instructions for lab seven. And we see what we're supposed to do is figure out which one of these injections would actually bypass the authentication using SQL injection. And the easiest thing to do is simply try each one of them one by one and see which one works. But we can actually go about it a little bit more methodically and figure out for ourselves. If you haven't already watched the What is SQL Injection video, you may want to do that first in case you're not familiar with SQL Injection. If we go to the login page, we can cause an error by putting in characters that are reserved characters in SQL languages, like the single quote, backslash, and other characters that are known to be cause issues with syntax in SQL when we look at the manual. And when we cause an exception to occur, we'll notice that the query is revealed, which makes this quite a bit easier. We can see where the username field lands inside of that query, causing the error. So now that we know what the query is, we can reason as to what kind of an injection would cause an SQL injection attack to be successful. So whatever is entered into that field is going to land within the username parameter between these two single quotes. So one thing is that the single quote will have to be closed off. So it, an attacker is likely going to inject a single quote to pair up with the single quote that's already there so that there won't be unbalanced. Now that'll still leave this orphaned single quote over here on the right hand side that has to be dealt with. And that can even be dealt with by pairing it up with another single quote and then putting a statement in the middle that will syntactically make all that work together. Or sometimes what you'll see is a comment field to simply comment out that orphan to single quote. So dash dash space is a comment in MySQL server, for example. Also a hashtag is a comment symbol as well. Either one of them work the same way. So having established that, we have this space in the middle where a so-called payload would go. And this particular lab is only asking to get around the login. So really, all that needs to happen is, is either pick a username that you know is in the system and use that username to log in, or put in an injection that will just pull back the entire accounts table and it'll log you in as whatever the first user is in the table. So to do the, the latter, the simpler, you can just make this statement true with a tautology, something that would be true for every row in the database. Well, there's not likely to be any users with a username of blank, but if we could make the statement true anyway for every row, that would work. So you often see these tautologies where you'll have an or and then something on the right-hand side that's true. Now, in MySQL, anything that's not zero is true, or at least considered to be true. Uh, so you just need something on the right-hand side that's not a zero. So like a one will work just fine. If we kind of highlight our injection here and copy that, we go back over to the website, Perhaps we want to refresh the page just to get rid of all the error message. And then you can paste in that snippet and then hit the login button. And you'll be logged in as the first user in the database, which in this particular application just happens to be admin by coincidence. So going back over to the lab, we look at the choices. and we see the one that makes sense based on what we have learned would be this one here because we have the single quote that's terminating that starting single quote that's in the query. And then you see the comment symbol that would comment out the second single quote. And in this particular case, 
the injection is going to log in as the user whose username is Jeremy. These other ones don't make sense for various different reasons. Um, this one has a double quote, which is not going to pair up with a single quote. This one has an and statement instead of an or statement. Uh, this one has a not statement. This one has percent symbol, so on. So we hit submit, and it tells us the answer is correct.